98-year-old war crime suspect, Laszlo Shatari, has been formally charged by Hungarian prosecutors for his willful assist in the execution and torture of the Jews, deported from Kasici, Slovakia, to concentration camps in territories occupied by the Germans in World War II. Shatari, who lived in Canada for decades after the war, has denied the charges, although Holocaust survivors remember his sinister figure. I can see him in front of me, a tall, handsome man, but with a heart of stone. It reminds me of our arrival to Auschwitz. When I saw him, it was the same as when I saw Mengele. Asked whether she would testify against Shatari, Salamaneva recoiled in horror. Oh my God! No, no, what for? I don't want to. I can see him on television. He doesn't care about anything. He lives a happy life and so many people. I don't want to go there. No, I'm still under that pressure and I'm still afraid. I can't find peace. Shatari's arrest last year after decades in hiding can largely be attributed to the work of the Simon Wiesenthal Center after their chief Nazi hunter in Jerusalem collated a dossier. I think this very clearly shows that even today it's possible to bring Nazi war criminals to justice. And it's especially important, I think, for Hungary where they're having considerable difficulty in confronting their history during World War II and their collaboration with the Nazis in Holocaust crimes. So it's important to send a message that people like Chatari, who thought that they were acting in a patriotic way on behalf of their country, are war criminals and they should be brought to justice and shouldn't be glorified uh, by Hungarian society. Shatari is currently under house arrest and the first session of his trial is now expected to be held within three months. He is likely to face trial in Hungary, although he could be extradited to Slovakia, where he was convicted for war crimes in absentia in 1948.